Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, good, good evening. evening. Teacher. Hello, how are you? Today is Friday for us, it's Thursday, right? But for us it's Friday because tomorrow we don't have class. So thank you for the ones that are on time. Okay, I have 11 participants right now in the class. Uh, we are going to wait for uh, the rest, just one minute, uh, while uh, everyone is, you know, joining the class, okay? So hopefully uh, tomorrow we have day off, we have weekend, so we start weekend on Friday, right? But I guess that you have to work. Well, no trabajan los fines de semana. Rich people no trabajan los fines de semana. <laughs> Yeah, but um, uh, we are going to wait. We have 14 participants right now. Y vamos a comenzar con el attendance. Okay, so uh, remember that this is a requirement from uh, INSA4 and also for English corporativo right to be uh, passing the attendance twice, okay? At the beginning of the class and also at the end of the class. So in that way, so you can uh, confirm that you are in the class, right? So uh, let's see, we have 15 members right now and I would like to see your cameras, please. I would like to see your faces and see that you are alive that you are ready. Thank you, Fidel. <laughs> you are ready for the class. Okay, thank you, Irene. Nice. Uh, Lisbeth, thank you, Edwin. Nice. So remember, try to keep your camera on, okay? Try to put it in a position. If you are in your phone, try to put it in a position that, you know, we can see your face or we can see uh, what you are doing, right? That's the idea. Remember that all the meetings are being recorded. So that is something that we already know, okay? So let me uh, start with the um, with the attendance. Um, just a moment. The same story, uh, as soon as you listen your name, please uh, say, yes, I'm here, present. Okay, in that way I will be able to know that you are here. Uh, let's see, Anna Astrid. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Anna Bernarda. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, then we have Anna Cristina. Anna Cristina, it's not here. Okay, this is the second time. Ayer no, no estuvo también, Ana Cristina. Uh, Ana Lisbeth. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, then we have Ana Miriam. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, then we have uh, Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria. No. Uh, Angie Elizabeth. Angie. No. Uh, Carla Raquel. Carla Raquel. No. Cindy Arely. Cindy Arely. Oh my God, uh, Cordelia Elizabeth. Hello, can you hear me? Si me escuchan, verdad? Yes, teacher. Oh my God, todos ellos no están. Ya hasta pensé que estaba en mute. <laughs> okay, just a moment. Faltan entonces, Cordelia no está. Uh, then we have Daniel Edgardo. 
Daniel? No? Diana Lisbeth? Diana Lisbeth? Hola. Ok, thank es que you. escucho entrecortado. Ah, ok, but uh, you have the attendance. Don't worry, Diana. Uh, then we have Doris Maricela. Doris Maricela? Thank you. Uh, Edwin Edgardo? Edwin Edgardo? Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Edwin Eichel? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Eneida Patricia? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Erica Eloisa? Erica? No. Um, Eugenia Asuncion? Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Fidel Natanael? Thank you, Fidel. I know I you're there. <laughs> Francisco? Francisco Javier? Francisco? No. Germán Mejía Hernández? No. Glenda Annette? Glenda? No. Oh my God. Harold Eduardo? Present teacher. Thank you. Hey, Herbert Douglas? Present teacher. Thank you. Hilda Milagro? Hilda Milagro? No. Ingrid Xiomara? Ingrid Xiomara? Irene Beatriz? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Antonio? I'm Jaime. present, Miss. Okay, thank you, Jaime. <coughs> Thanks. You were not here yesterday, right? <coughs> yeah, first song, Mauricio. Present. Thank you, Jeffer. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ricardo Josué. Okay, so alguien que haya ingresado late and if I already mentioned your names, you were not here. A todos los mencioné. Okay, we are 18 right now. So uh, be ready always with the cameras. Okay, remember that I'm taking a couple of uh, pictures as well. Okay, for us to have like proof that we are here in the class. Okay, so uh, right now we are going to start. I don't know what happened with all the members in the in the class so hopefully they will be joining the class because remember that the attendance is very very important okay so if you don't get at the 80 percent of your hours so you lose your opportunity for be you know having this class okay the scholarship you know what is a scholarship right Yes, all of us, we know what a scholarship means, right? Astrid, what is a scholarship? Yes. Let's see, Astrid, Becca. Maria, Becca, okay, perfect. So Becca. Becca's, okay, so we are receiving our class because Insafor is helping us, right, with the scholarship, but if we don't follow their rules, okay, so we can lose the scholarship and that will be something that will affect your learning process okay so that's why it's very 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 important to be connected every single um, day that we have classed okay it's very very important so uh, something that you remember from yesterday let's see a volunteer did you remember something about yesterday
no? Yes, about uh -huh. holidays. Oh, about holidays, okay. Which holiday do you and, remember? Uh, Valentine's Day. Okay, Valentine's. Valentine's Day. Okay, Valentine's Day, okay. And German, uh, continue. WH question too. Oh, perfect. The WH questions. Okay, WH questions. Let's see, Edwin Atel. Uh, tell me one of your favorite WH question or which one do you remember? Atel? Eh, disculpe, casi no le escuché. Eh, se escuchó distorsión. Okay, no problem. So. Uh, yesterday we were mentioning, we were learning about WH questions, okay? And we have many WH questions that we can use. So mention just one, okay? Eight, one of the list. Okay. Uh, why? Why, okay. Why that is a WH question, okay? Let's see, Irene Beatriz, tell me, uh, a question using why. Irene Beatriz, question using why. Irene? When we are going to use why, let's see Harold. Harold Eduardo, thank you, Irene. Don't worry, okay? So let's see Harold. When we are going to use uh, why? On why? Um, uh, why? Why do you study English? Perfect. That's a nice question. Why you are studying English? Okay. So we mentioned that we, we have a WH question. Why? When we need to uh, know a reason. Okay. Why you are late today in the class? Oh, because of the internet connection, okay? So I mentioned that we can answer with the because, okay? Because, nice. Let's see, let's see, Edwin, mention another WH question that you remember from yesterday class. Edwin Garcia. Um, how? How, okay, how? Let's see, Jefferson, Mauricio, when we are gonna use how? Uh-huh. When we are gonna use how? How do you say? Okay, that's an example, right? That's an example of uh, WH question, how, how do you say? Okay, how do you say, how do you say uh, book in English as an example, right? So that is, a, that is an example of uh, a WH question, okay? Uh, let's see, let's see who, let me put this bigger because I want to see your, Eugenia. Eugenia, thank you. Um, let's see, Eugenia, uh, tell me another WH question. Which? Which, okay. When we are going to use which, Eugenia? Uh, when we are asking about a choice. Excellent, okay. When we need to choose between different actions. Let's see. And Ada, give me an example using which. Um, podría ser which, uh, which color choose, black or white. Okay, which color do you choose between right and black as an example, okay? Perfect, you are mentioning like two options or different options and the person needs to choose which one, right? Perfect, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Diana Menjivar, Diana Menjivar, okay? Diana Menjivar, the last WH question. Sé que hay más, pero solo uno más. Diana, because of the time. 
what? When we are going to use what? Yeah. What is your favorite music? Okay, what is your favorite music? Okay, that mentioned, we mentioned that we are going to use that for objects and themes, right? That's something that we are going to use what? Okay, asking for an object or something in a specific. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Okay, remember, I would like to ask to all of you, but the time is running and we have to continue with the agenda. Okay, so. Are you able to see my screen, right? See ben el screen? Yes, yes. yes. Perfect, thank you. So we are gonna start with this, lesson number two. We are like in the middle and today we finish, hopefully the lesson number two. Let's see, German Mejia. Can you help me with the reading, German? Can you please read the uh, model objective for this class? Lea la lección. Yes, read the, the, okay. the objective. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use it, how must no, use. No sé cómo se más. Plus. 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 Additional, you will practice uh, converting, converting with illustrator how this topic is used in a real, real life setting. settings. Okay, settings. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. It says right here that by the end of this class, you will be able to learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus objective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in real life settings. Okay, don't forget to be on mute. I don't know who is. Okay, perfect. So let's see what we have right here. We have uh, this part of the face. Okay, probably you know the vocabulary, okay? And we are not gonna stop, okay? Too much on this, okay? Esta imagen le he puesto así como que ilustrativa para que la vean. No es algo que, que lo vamos a ver. Uh, uh, anótelo por ahí, so you can take a picture as well of this and practice the, 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 the parts of the face, okay? This is like an introduction for the lesson because we are gonna see uh, medical situations or problems with our health, okay? Como dice usted, mire, es que me duele la cabeza, me duele la, el estómago, ando, dice uno, ando un gran dolor de espalda, right? So that's what we will see in this lesson, okay? But we have some parts of the face that probably we don't know, okay? So we will see, this is extra information. Esto no está en el, en el, En el manual, así de una manera eh, completa, right? But this is something extra, okay? This is something extra that I would like to that I would like to uh, share with you. Um, just a moment. So, are you able to see the screen? Okay, now I, I closed it. I don't know why. I, I was not able to uh, see your faces, okay? So uh, let's see part of the face one more time. Just let me uh, share the screen one more time. And as I told you, this is something extra. As soon as you uh, learn, for example, forehead, okay? Forehead, la frente dice uno, right? That's forehead. Then we have eyebrows, okay, the eyebrow. Then we have our eyes, mouth, cheap, chin, okay. Then we have cheap, la mejilla, this one, cheap. Okay, nose, ears, and temple, okay. Temple, son como aquí, verdad, las 
cositas que se nos hacen. Ok, then we have a, a tough, ok, leaf and tongue, ok. The eyelash, ok, eyelash, irons, pupil, and the able, ok, able. So, those are extra words, ok. En, en el ejercicio de su plataforma, you don't need this vocabulary, ok. No le va a preguntar nada de esto, pero this is something extra, ok. Like, uh, for example, what I have right here, the body parts, ok. The body parts. If you see, uh, they are basically the same, ok? Ahí lo único que no quise poner solo niño para que no dijeran, ah, que solo niño puso. Y, o solo niña para que no se peleen ahí y digan, no, es que solo una niña puso. Ok, so that's why I put the two, ok? So, but if you see, we have the same uh, parts of the body, ok? I don't know if we have any new vocabulary on this, ok? Do, you, do we have any new work? Or you already know all the body parts. So, hay alguno que no lo sabía. Okay, so let's let's see it together. Okay, veamos um, which ones do we have. Let me ask, make this a bigger para que lo vean mejor. Okay, here it is. Body parts. We have hair. Eyebrow, ears, mouth, neck, shoulder, arm, finger, uh, waist, knee, and foot. Then we have tone, uncle, leg, stomach, chest, elbow, hand, nose, eyes, eye, in this case, solo está marcando uno, pero en plural, eyes, and uh, forehead. So those are the body parts that are similar to the ones that are in the book, okay? So questions about the body parts. Questions about the body parts? Teacher. Yes. Uncle, escribe que es, o como se pronuncia? Uncle, okay, uncle. Codo. Exactly. No, 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 pero no, yo lo veo por la pierna. Which one? Let me see. Elbow. Elbow. Elbow is el codo. No, ese es el codo, cabal, pero yo veo uh -huh. ese oncle, ancle, ahí por el, por el Ah, pie. ese es el tobillo. Ah, tobillo. Okay. ¿Cómo uh -huh. se pronuncia, teacher? Ancle. 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 Yes. That's uh, the tobillo, right? Y todo es pie. Y ese es dedo. Foot. Ah. Foot es el pie. Toe. Uh -huh. Foot is pie. Exactly. Toe. That would Toe be is dedo. Es el dedo. Exactly. Okay. Okay, teacher. Nice. Thanks. Perfect. So write down the words, okay? Ahí en su cuaderno me imagino que usted va anotando, right? New vocabulary, teacher. new words. Go ahead. Perdón, perdón, teacher. Y chest? ¿Qué es? Chest. El pecho. Pecho, dice uno. Chest. Pecho. Ajá, uh -huh. what else? Teacher. ¿Qué? Donde dice white, ¿qué quiere decir? Waist. Es mu, eh, cintura, cintura, cintura. Okay. Cintura. Eh, Teacher. Then, go ahead. Uh, I just want to talk about the finger and the toe. The toe is uh, for the foot and the finger is for the hand. Perfect, yes. Ok, aquí habría que buscar una imagen, hay una donde muestra cada parte, pero it's that's too much, ok. So right now, at least general parts, ok. Yo le puedo traer una imagen donde viene hasta la uña, la mugre, no. <laughs> todo, right. So in this case, this is just the main body parts, ok, the main body parts. But yes, thank you, the dedos de la mano, dice uno, right, fingers, ok, that's fingers. Perfect, so let's continue because of the time, okay? Because of the time, we have to uh, move on, okay? Let's see what is next. We have a conversation practice, okay? This is something that is on the book. Ahí está en el manual, ahí lo he tomado, okay? Para que vean por donde más o menos vamos 
en el manual y por donde usted más o menos debe de ir en la plataforma. Ok, so it says listen and practice. Ok, I will read the conversation just one time and then uh, we are going to practice in pairs the conversation. Ok, it says, hey, uh, Kenichi, that's the name. Ahí puede ser usted, hey, Chepito, hey, Marillita, right? How are you? Oh, I'm not so good. Actually, why? What's the matter? Okay, what's the matter? Como que onda, que te pasa, right? So, what's the matter? Well, I have a headache and I have a back shake. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick from Japan. Okay, es de Japan, ahí el nombre, por eso se llama así. Ah, that's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay. Do we have any new work in this small conversation? Something that you are like, mm, I don't know what's the meaning of that. Do we have yes, any new? Sure. Go ahead. Yes. I have a question. How, how is the, la pronunciación de, eh, la palabra de dolor de espalda? ¿Cómo es, cómo es la pronunciación? Back shake. Back shake. Okay. Back I shake. Back headache, okay. Back. Uh, then we have headache and back heat, okay. Dolor okay. de espalda. What is flu? What is flu? Gripe, quizás. Gripe. Yes. yes, gripe, flu. Ya usted cuando diga, ay, me quiere dar gripe, ya diga flu, okay. I feel homesick. Homesick. Enfermo. Enfermo, nostalgic, ok, nostalgic. como un, un, nosotros decimos está irritado, así decimos nosotros, right? está irritado, está constipado, right, so that's like homesick, ok, so I guess those are the new words that probably, then the rest, I guess that it's, it's ok, so uh, let's see, we are going to practice, ok, Quizás no lo vamos a hacer en los, en los breakup rooms because of the time, ok? Veo que the time is running y todavía tenemos un par de activities. So, I just need, a, um, let's see, let's see, Ana Miriam, and let's see who else. Hi, miss. Who say hi? Hi, miss. Um, me. Hi, me. Ok, so you would like to participate? Yeah, yes. Okay, perfect. Jaime and Anna Miriam, okay? So you are the volunteers for the uh, practice, the conversation. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Jaime, you will be Brian. And Miriam, you will be the Genichi, okay? Ahí diga Chepito, cualquier nombre, no importa. Okay, remember that this is just the name. So, uh, ready, go. Jaime. Okay, okay. Hi, Kanichi. Uh, who, who are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What the what? Why? What the what the matter? The the matter. Well, I have a he health touch and back touch. Uh, may, mm, maybe you have the the, the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Uh, that's too bad. Um, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at at that new at that new Japan's restaurants. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thank you. Nice. Perfect. So Japanese. Okay. The new Japanese restaurant. Okay. Japanese. Nice. Perfect. So let's see. Do we have another uh, couple volunteers that would like to read 
Uh, let's see, uh, Eugenia. Me, teacher. Go ahead, okay, Eugenia, and who say me? Daniel, Daniel. Okay, Daniel. So, Daniel, you are Brian, and Eugenia, you are uh, Kenichi. Okay. Hi, Kenichi, how are you? Eugenia? Eugenia. Hola. Eugenia. Ok, oh no tenía activado el sonido, disculpe. Ah, ok, no, no hay problem. problema, no hay problema. Ok, eh, comenzamos. Hey, disculpe. Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, ha I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at a new Japanese restaurant. That's great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so perfect. I know that all of you want to participate, but the time is, you know, running. Okay, so that's why I try to choose uh, different members in the class para que todos participemos. So, but we need to continue, okay? We need to continue with the next activity. And in the next activity, what we have, okay? We have this grammar focus that is the, the have plus now and feel plus subjective, okay? We have negative adjectives and we have positive adjectives, okay? Uh, let's see, what's the matter? It's as I told you, como usted le va a preguntar a su amigo, ¿verdad? Como un poco informal, un poco así como, ¿qué tenés? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué okay, what's wrong? Okay, what is the problem? Okay, how are you? How do you feel? So these ones are uh, normal questions that you can ask to your friend, to your family, to your boss. Okay, I have a headache. I have a batch. Okay, I have the flu. I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well, okay? We have negative adjectives. Cuando usted se siente un poco enfermo, usted dice, ay, es que me siento mal. Es que me duele el pelo, right? Me duele la uña, qué sé yo, right? So we have negative adjectives. We have sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Oh my God, the accent is miserable. <laughs> That's too much, okay? But we have also positive adjectives, okay? Fine, great. Terrific, fantastic, okay? Uh, do we have any new vocabulary? What is awful? Awful? Horrible. Horrible, horrible dice uno. Ay, es que me siento horriblemente mal. Y ahí es cuando ya está uno bastante enfermo. ¿va? Pero cuando no es algo muy serio, dice uno, I feel sick, okay? I don't feel well. I feel bad, okay? But that's uh, awful, ya un poco más enfermito, quizás más se siente mal. Terrible, okay, terrible. And uh, in this case, terrific, okay? Suena como a negativo, but it's the opposite, okay? What is the meaning of terrific? Grandioso. Grandioso. Es grandioso, espectacular, dice uno. Fantástico. Siento. Exacto. Ok, ahorita me siento. Chulada. Chulada, calidad, 10 de 10, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> yeah, that is an expression that you can use when you feel nice, ok? Amazing. Cuando yo le diga, ya usted, cuando yo le pregunte, how are you? Ya no solo me diga, fine. Usted me puede decir, great. Terrific, fantastic, amazing, okay, wonderful, okay, so those are positive adjectives, okay, so uh, we have this activity in the platform, let me see if I can get it quick and see if we can do it, it says listen and practice, okay, para que podamos escuchar and look at the pictures, okay, ahí hay casi que varias enfermedades, right, sickness, that we can uh, have in, um, 
that we can uh, we can basically um, used. Okay, just let me search for the exercise right here and see if we can listen, okay? And uh, for now, look at the pictures, okay? Ve ahí las imágenes, se vamos a revisarlas. And look at the sickness, okay? La enfermedad, okay? Que está ahí. Um, let's see. Okay, this one. Okay, uh, let me stop sharing and let me share one more time the full screen for you to be able to see this part right here. So let me see if I play this one, but this one. Uh, but I didn't include the audio, just a moment. Share screen, shared sounds. Let's see this one. Up. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn. Uh, you are able to listen, right? Se se escucha. Si, teacher. How oh, to express yes. different illnesses. Oh, I'm not so blue. No, I think I just, that's too Let bad. Let me put it on the next one. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. I have a backache. Backache. I, I feel awful. Okay, Terrible. Just let me put in the other exercise. Positive adjective. Great. Terrific. Terrific. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left hand subject. For example. I would like to show I of this oh adjective terrible. Great. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own vocabulary and try to after you finish this activity, share mm -hmm. your work in our discussion form. Okay, just a moment. No, it's no me da el otro que necesito. Now let's check. Okay, it says, listen to the conversation. Where do these people hurt? Hurt. Uh, there may be one or two correct for each conversation. So let's see this one, okay? Listen, and we are going to uh, see the answer. What is the part of the body that probably the people hurt? Okay, lo que le duele. Vamos a ver. Page 80. Exercise four, listening. I have a headache, part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm gonna go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Okay, let's see. Conversation one. What is the part of the body that hurt? Head and throat. Okay, head and throat. Okay, throat. So it's in la garganta. Me duele, me arde. Throat. Okay, let's see. Conversation two. Okay, let's play it. Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Okay, that will be number Three. two. Um, Here, back have some ice cream, back. Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. 
What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't have the chance to stop the, the audio. So in number two, which is the parts that hurt to, from, uh, to Allison? Back and elbow. Her back and okay. her elbow. Back and elbow, right? She fell down. Okay, se cayó. She fell down. Number three. What about number uh, three, Jeffrey? Oh. Uh huh. Tooth. 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 Okay. Tooth. Okay. You say se me duele la muela. Okay. I have a tooth hurt or pain. Okay. Nice. And the last one with Marta. What happened with her? Eyes. The, the eyes, eyes and the wrist. Okay, the wrist and her eyes because probably she's doing too many um, activities on the computer and then uh, she's so tired about it, okay? So uh, let's continue, okay? Let's continue with the next uh, listening section, okay? It says right here, by the end of this class, uh, you will be able to learn the names of common uh, medications for health problems, okay? Obviamente que aquí no vamos a agarrar vocabulario de doctor, right? <laughs> que nos vamos a aprender la farmacia de medicamento, pero at least the common uh, medications or pills or medicine that we probably used every day. So let's see, I have the video right here about this. And uh, let's see the, the audio. I just want to play the audio for you to see the common medications, okay? How we mention and how we call it. Okay, let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin, cough syrup, cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. Now, I will. Okay, so that is enough. Okay, so remember that you have to complete all these activities in the platform, right? So, what I'm trying to do is, you know, have like a review, a, an idea about the uh, common. Um, vocabulary that we can use okay so uh questions about the names of the medications como le digo no es que va a aprenderse todo el medicamento en inglés right but at least aspirin okay the acetaminophen those are like the common ones cream okay alguna crema un ungüento y se una una cream body cream muscle cream Ice uh, uh, cream for, uh, I don't know, natural cream. Uh, peel, peels, okay, las pastillas, right? Peels. Marihuana. Eh, marihuana. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, that one, okay. So, los comunes que, que usamos, right? Ya si ya quiere una operación y quiere saber otros medicamentos, ya ahí sí habría que irnos ya a un diccionario de medicina, ya, buscar. Okay, so let's see, let's continue, okay? Oh my God, uh, let's see. Okay, this is the last part that we have for today and it's the imperatives. Okay, it says right here that we are gonna use imperatives uh, in different uh, scenarios or different situations. The common one is give orders, okay? Give orders, like if you have your bosses, hey, you have to be on time every day, okay? Oh, you have to finish your job. You have to complete the 
project, okay? That is an order. Give instructions, okay? You, we are gonna use imperatives when we are giving instructions. Take one pill every 12 hours. Así le dice el, el doctor, right? When you go to the appointment, the medical appointment, oh, you have to drink, blah, 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 you have to. It's not asking you if you want to, it's giving you like an instruction that you have to follow, like the teacher, right? Your teacher says, oh, you have to do your homework. It's not asking if you want, okay? It's telling you, oh, you have to do your homework. Please study for the exam. Open your books, okay? On signs, okay? When we are at the street, we see different sites all over the street, okay? So when you have a door, it says, pull out, pull uh, down, okay? Or uh, give a weight. Give warnings, okay? When we want to uh, mention a warning, we can use an imperative. Don't sit on the uh, beach. It's wet paint, okay? Don't smoke. It's bad for your health. Also, it says make an invitation. Have some tea. It's still hot. Come, on, uh, come in and sit down. We are having tea. Okay, and all, the last one says, give an advice. Go home and get some sleep. You look exhausted, okay? So questions about the uh, imperatives, okay? When we are going to uh, use uh, the imperatives. Different uh, situations, no es solo para dar una orden, sino que lo vamos a ver and uh, different, 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 um, different uh, scenarios or different uh, situations that we can use, okay? So let's see uh, some examples right here, okay? Y ahora si nos vamos a ir a los break rooms, okay? Just let me uh, stop sharing and I will create the rooms, okay? Based on this, I have 22 people. Okay, I don't know the same story if I will share the screen, but we have to complete the sentence using the verbs that we have and complete the uh, imperatives. So, voy a crear 10 equipos nada más, okay? Algunos van a quedar ahí de tríos, okay? Just let me do it right now. Auctions, it will be like four minutes, okay? Four minutes only. Okay, so here we go. Be ready and um, let's see. Okay, let me share the screen. This one will be the activity, okay? No sé si logran ver la presentación. So we have nine sentences using imperatives and the verbs that are like in right in, in yellow. I'm sorry, in yellow. So are the ones that you will put in the correct sentence, okay? Con la pareja o el trío, los que queden en tres. So usted completan eso, eso rapidito. We have four minutes only, okay? Are we ready for the activity? Yes? Perfect. So let's move on.
Okay, perfect. Welcome back. Okay, welcome back. And uh, let me share one more time the screen and uh, see together the answer. Okay, we have like two or three minutes for this. Okay, just let me share the screen really quick. And here it is. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Jefferson, number one. Jefferson. No, it's that. Okay, let's see Ingrid Siomar. Um. Please open your books to the perf 20. Okay, so please open your books to page 12. Okay, open your books to page 12. Okay, so this is an imperative. O sea, es como que una, no es una orden, ¿verdad? Una indicación, una instruction. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Herbert, number two, Herbert Douglas. Passing the pencil shaper now. One more time, I'm sorry. Pass me the pencil sharpener now. Okay, pass me the pencil sharpener now. Okay. Um can be, uh -huh, can be nice. Let's see, number three, Jaime Garcia. Jaime? Oh, eh, Jaime, um, no lo sé en realidad, pero lo voy a intentar. Go ahead. And do, you, do you have to. Do you have to. No, no sé si está entre, entre Tosh o Drown. Uh -huh. Ok, no problem, Jaime. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Um, Jessica Mancilla, the same number three. Uh, número tres, verdad? Yes. You have to touch pictures of animals. You have to touch. Mm. Let's see who draw, has draw something? maybe draw. draw. Okay, you have to draw. Okay, pictures okay. of animals. Okay, so please try to get uh, the other ones uh, as a homework because uh, we have just three minutes and I have to pass the, the attendance one more time, okay? So I need uh, to pass the attendance because, you know, I have a different class at nine, so I need to move on. So, but we will uh, see uh, the, the answers. Probably we can... Uh, send the answers in the group. And uh, basically, we still have something else, okay? We have lesson number two. 
And this will be your homework, okay? Uh, the, the, the reading, okay? We have 10 simple ways to improve your health. Please, as a homework, read uh, that um, page that is uh, the reading, okay? Ya les muestro la imagen, ¿cuál es? Solo déjenme pasar el attendance, Teacher. yes? La diferencia entre cerrado y el otro es chu, chu, pero cerrado está bien. No. I'm sorry, one more time. Closed. 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 Y chu. Chu. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Chu es disparo. Disparo. No. Ajá. Tiene diferentes significados, ok, pero eh, puede ser lo mismo, pero en el contexto va a significar diferente, ok. Eh, lo vamos a ver la, la siguiente clase eh, cómo nos quedan, igual ahí en el grupo del whatsapp lo podemos contestar so, uh, Ana Astrid I'm here teacher thank you Ana Bernarda here teacher Ana Cristina no. uh, Ana Lisbeth I'm here, teacher. Gracias, Ana Miriam. Sorry, que voy a repetir. Present, teacher. Uh, Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria. El hermano. El hermano. No. Angie Elizabeth. Angie Elizabeth. Carla Raquel. Carla Raquel. Cindy Arely. Cindy Arely, Cordelia Elizabeth, Cordelia Elizabeth, Daniel Edgardo, present, thank you, uh, Diana Lisbeth, Diana, present, uh, present. Doris Maricela, Doris, Edwin Edgardo. Edwin Edgardo. Thank you. Uh, Aita, I know you are Present. there. Thank you. And Aida Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Eloisa. No. Eugenia Asuncio. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Fidel and Nathanael. I am. Thank you, Francisco. Hey, teacher. Francisco, thank you. Uh, German Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Glenda Annette. Present, teacher. Thank you. Harold Eduardo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Herbert Douglas. Hilda Milagro, gracias. Hilda Milagro. Ingrid Xiomara. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Irene Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jaime, Antonio. I'm present, Miss. Yes, Jefferson, Mauricio. I know you are here, Jefferson. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. And Ricardo Josué. No. Okay, perfect. Present so, teacher and Jefferson. Yes, Jefferson. Sí, ya ahí le había puesto a usted. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the exercise that will be part of your homework, please read it. Is uh, this one, okay? Let me share it at the end. So this one, okay? You have it in your platform. You have it in your book. And uh, try to read it, okay? Lo vamos a leer acá, pero the time it's, you know, it's not enough to uh, cover everything, okay? So thank you so much for uh, being the class. Hope to see you next week. And uh, don't forget that we have a homework, okay? Ahí hay una tarea que mañana se va a revisar, okay? Lesson one and two. Traten de tenerla set para mañana antes de la medianoche. Okay. So, thank you so much for your time. And see you next 
Monday, okay? We have class next Monday, okay? Bye-bye, take care, and uh, have a nice weekend, okay? Enjoy Good your night, day. everybody. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you next week. See you on Monday. Bye -bye.